Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Grower's Farm. This map can be found over at Facebook at the MJ Modding Community, and there will be a link to that Facebook group in the description below. Uh, this map supports two farms, one farm with cows and sheep, and the other par farm uh, supporting pigs. Uh, four um, silage pits, two at the cow farm and two at the BGA a grain cell point at Grower's Grain, uh, 47 fields, BGA, all of the other standard Farm Sim 17 features, including custom crop, ground, and foliage texture, textures, animated gates, doors, and lights, custom sky textures, multi-terrain angle, and chop straw has been included within the map. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm going to leave all the DLCs checked. And we're going to go ahead and leave our gator selected, as well as our jeep. Let's go ahead and pull up the log. Watch the map load in here. Looks like we do have a manure... Um, stable area script, so we'll have to muck out something. Either that or the manure will spread. It won't appear in a standard pile. Got a fair bit of starting equipment here loading up. And here we are at our starting position. And we have access into the house. That. Fireplace on it. <laughs> we got a little tractor that's been stolen. Cool. Oh my, check this out. Be able to game in bed. And he's got a cool dual monitor gaming setup with a Logitech wheel. Interesting, I don't see any pedals right here. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. So here's the map, and you can see it is fairly intensive as far as the grass grows. Or grass goes. There are lots of fields of grass. We start out by owning fields 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. All, all grass except for field 34. We have our standard crops here on the map. Also, got one main cell point for our crops. We have a dedicated cell point for wood chips, wool, two cell points for wood chips, wool, inner BGA takes silage, manure, and slurry. So we have a fairly long list of starting equipment, all fairly new, and none of it is leased. Let's go ahead and take out a loan. Oops. Let's go ahead and take out a loan so we can buy some animals as we go around the map. And speaking of animals, you can see we have sheep, pigs, and cows here on the map. And our silo has a capacity, interesting enough, of 131,000 liters. And let's go ahead, once we get downstairs, and take a look at our starting equipment. Oops. Our starting fleet consists of Bent Vario 700, Voltra T series, Massey Ferguson 7700, Manitou Telehandler, Activa 7347S Harvester with Grain Header. You have the Telehandler Bale Fork. You also have the Grain Header and Header Trailer, the Agriliner Trailer Tipper, Amazon Cultivator and Plow. Got the potato planter, 
Vanderstand Rapid A600S Cedar, Fertilized Spreader, a Side Mower and Front Pottinger Mowers, the Coon Windrower, and the New Holland Round Baler. And we close out the starting equipment with our standard pickup truck, Animal Water Trailer, the Silo King, Power Food Mixer, and the Power Washer. Again, as you can see, nothing is leased. Let's go ahead and get our Jeep to uh, drive around in today. Let's go ahead and explore the main farm here, which appears to be the cow and sheep area. Animated gates here. area around back here we have our slurry point for our cows some of our starting equipment in there Fuel point right there. Interesting little basket there on the gate. Got our what appears to be our straw trigger here. Our water trail tr trigger and our water trailer. We have our grass trough for the cows. And our power food trough should be right here on the outside for our power food. And this is where we're going to deliver our purchase our cows and buy some of those. And there they are out there in the pasture. Check. It doesn't appear that uh, the Graze Mod is built into the map. Uh, the description does not necessarily mention the Graze Mod. So I'm going to assume that it is not there. But you may want to uh, add it just to check and see. Got our silo dump and our silo fill point. Fertilizer here. Fertilizer fill point. Sorry, that's not fertilizer. That is our seed trigger. Customize pair trigger if we're playing with seasons. Now, interesting enough, this map does not appear to be um, prepared for seasons. There's no snow mask. You could still play the map with snow mask if you should so desire or with seasons if you should so desire it just will be that will not have hay or straw um basically deteriorating away rotting away in the event that it gets wet Checking things out here. Got our liquid fertilizer trigger here. Got our sheep buy point. There. Fairly large area for our sheep to roam around in. Got our grass trough there. Do have nuggets on the map. And interesting enough, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but there's a fair bit of like like saws and woodworking sounds in the background. Strange. Here we have our water trough for our sheep. Oh. Alright. 
that pretty much is the main cow and sheep farm. See if I can find those. Uh, here's one of the silage bunkers, I assume. No, not getting the bunker trigger. Here. Sure. Go around and look some more and see if we can't find those uh, silage bunkers. Oh, check this. Another gold nugget. There's one of the bunkers. We had the trigger there. And it did mention that there were, we've mentioned there were two at the cow yard and two at the BGA. Found one. Found some more for the other real quick. One in there. You saw that was our harvester. Area. Mower or baler in our wind rower. That could be used for bale storage. I'm really thinking this is the second one, but there's no trigger here. It's collision walls, but there's no don't get any indication of a bunker when we walk into it. Strange. Indeed. If if that's not it and you all find the other one, if you could let me know where it is. That'd... Let's go ahead and find out the store. Shop is up here. Let's go ahead and hit reset and see what happens to that Jeep. Right, so the reset point is here at the main farm. Back here by our chickens. Leave. Here are the chickens. Oh, uh, the chickens are strolling around on the uh, trampoline. Got a nice little garden here around back. And here's our reset point. Now, maybe we can see the monkey. There's the one that did work. There's the other one that I think would be it. Like I said, we didn't get a trigger when we walked up to it. Seems to be a really nice map if you're into uh, grass work, since more than half of the fields are grass. I would say probably three quarters of the fields are grass. Let's go ahead and come on out here and uh, let's see, are we going to make left and then we will come up here to the next intersection make a right you know how it's like there's a pile of logs over here and then a pond I want to check that out Of wood.
pond. Yep. More nuggets. Here we've got the just the little shed that is uh, our little shack is a uh, part of Lone Oak. Been redecorated here a little bit. Pretty cool little area there, and then we've got the forest back in here. Go on over here and check out the field prices. On a couple of the grass fields. Alright, so field 21 is 8.21 hectares, $132,000. And field 20 is 16.88 hectares, $273,000. And of course, there are no missions on grass fields. I have to check an arable field or two to see if there are missions on those. Go ahead and check and see if there are collisions on. Let's turn in here first. Let's see here. This appears to possibly be the wool cell point. Yes, it is indeed. We have our wool cell point. Another large grass field off here to our right. And we're going to go on up here and make a left. Because the pig farm is over here to our left. And, oh. And I wanted to see if, uh, well, if these hedges have collisions. They do not. Just drive right on through them if we want. Sign. Oh, we can take the sign out. So here is one of the arable fields. Let's go ahead and stop here to see what the uh, price is. No mission currently available. Uh, 4.1 hectares, $66,000 basically for that field. That's field 39. So fairly, fairly low cost land here on the map. Rower's Farm. Here we are at the pig area. Our pig food trough. And our pig animal buy point and delivery point is right here. I have our straw trigger in there. And then we've got to come all the way in here to get the water trough. This gate open? Yes, it does. Oh, I like That is a nice gate with that, uh, whoops. Warps through the, uh, stone there, but I like how it's got that that plywood, that board there. Here we've got our slurry fill, slurry trigger, and our manure point. A little bit of storage here. Not a lot going on here at the pig area. Pretty, pretty minimalistic and functional, and that's about it. Field 38, we've got 5.08 hectares, $82,000 for field 8. I wonder if this goes up or down. I don't see a trigger to raise or lower that uh, screening. Let's see, let's go ahead and head over here to what appears to be the sawmill and 
wood chip area as well as the shop appears to be a standard 2x2 two two map a full size map again I mean it's massive grass field here is field number 20. I already looked at that price, but it wasn't that expensive for as big as it is. 16.88 hectares of grass, $273,000. We've got the sawmill. We've got our Appears to be two log cell points and a wood chip cell point. Let's see what they have to say here. We have sawmill and lumber yard. Sawmill here uh, takes wood chips and um, hay pellets or straw pellets. Let's see a trigger that says lumber yard, and then we have sawmill wood chips. Interesting that we've got basically three triggers here, um, two of them that take wood chips, and I guess one that just takes logs. Go on up here to the store. The far north west corner of the map. Got our shop trigger and our customize and sell trigger and then a nice uh, vehicle shed up here possibly store um, some grass equipment we're going to use like how that field just uh, kind of goes up on a hill here see hopefully how this field uh, just flows we'll go in cab and maybe you get a, a perspective of how this field goes up and down. Alright. Let's head on over here. Oh. What is up with that? A fence. A fence here. These grass fields can be fertilized. You can improve the yield by fertilizing these grass fields. Head on, head on this way, and uh, we'll head over here across the uh, river. Check out the manure area and fuel pump props in the BGA. Then we'll head down south and just check out what is down there. Check that out. Let's go over here and just check this out here real quick. Pretty interesting. Looks like it's some kind of a boat launch. Oh no, sorry. This is a uh, this is a water fill point. Here we have where you can just hook up your hook up your water. Get water for your animal trailer here. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, it's also the back way into uh, field 41 here. Large field 15. It's really hard to tell from the PDA where these fields really start and stop with respect to the grass fields. Just isn't the definition uh, with respect to where the hedges are. To really see you know, here where, where are these four fields defined how are they segmented out it's really hard to tell that wish there was a little better definition there on um, on where the fields really were defined at fence here let's 
Let's cut through here. Check another arable field and see if we have a mission. No mission available. 11.88 hectares on this one. $192,000. Alright, I want to run over here because I wanted to... Looked like there was something up here in the corner I wanted to check. Oh, slip. Oh, it looks like... Okay. Like it's a spring coming out of a gully. And... I mean, I don't know. There's a sound of... I mean, I, this looks like it should be a waterfall, but there's there's no waterfall animation here at all. But clearly there's plenty of background noise that should mean that it's a waterfall. Interesting. Look at these massive grass fields. With these trees here. Suspect these trees do have collisions on them. Yeah. So you can't really do some course play thing where you just make one ginormous field out of these things. Um, you have to come in here and cut the trees down, but the hedges would remain. Alright, so let's go ahead and come on in here into town. Growers Town ship, it looks like. It's General Growers Town. Alright, MJ Modding has his own shop here. Farm Sim 19 is being featured. Uh, this is the, uh, the group that did the map. Oh, we've got a broken down Suzuki here, or did they have an accident? Uh, it looks like they're just overheated right next to these static cows. Then we have the manure cell. Oh, come on. Seriously. Got the manure cell point with what looks like some liquid and fertilizer, liquid fertilizer and seed. Um, purchase triggers here. We have our animal dealer just up the road. And we've got, so that's the cows and the sheep that are across the street are probably associated with this animal dealer here. We've got some more static sheep here. Static sheep. Then we have our trigger to buy our animals right there. I want to come pick them up. Got a bale cell point up here. Let's see if we got where that is. Directly in front of us. It's the bale cell point right here. Another nugget. Got another bale cell point right down the road. Two of them right over here. <clears throat> side-by-side side. must be in that ring I bet no
Oh yes, it is. It is in that ring. It's just very, very small. See the square in there? You can see that it's in there. So that is a very, very small bail cell point. Head on down the road here and we'll check out the BGA next. Ooh, parked along the side there, tight. There's our fuel. A nice church with some animated sounds here. Or some ambient sounds. Went up here to the BGA. We're going to go ahead and check one more arable field out. <clears throat> see if we have a mission on that one if not we're pretty much going to call it that there are not missions for the arable fields no mission available 7.86 hectares one hundred twenty seven thousand dollars very very cheap land prices compared to base game um, price growers grain in here as is the BGA animated gates we have our cell point that we need to back into I just ate and our silo king I can hear it our silo king interesting enough though backwards so you won't be able to see the um, fill level without uh, coming around the back It should still work to dump from this side. It is kind of interesting. It looks like it's rotated 180 degrees wrong direction. And then we have our two silage bunkers here. Thing feet open. Okay. Let's head on up here back to the uh, Jeep. Like I said, I want to I want to go down south here and check out what's down here right across from field 9 and just below field 13. Let's take a look. Zoom out again and just just kind of look around. Definitely not a flat map. It feels feels kind of flat, but it's definitely not. There's nice rolling hills and um, changes in elevation on pretty much all of these fields. Wondering if this could be kind of staged as a secondary farmyard, and then down south a tertiary farmyard. Nope, this is pretty much just a a spot to get your seed and fertilizer. Got the liquid fertilizer, and then the seed and solid fertilizer. There. Kind of cut down here. Got a ruined castle down here, and that was the other thing that I was seeing. Cool castle ruin. Explore. There's probably some nuggets hidden in there somewhere. All right, guys. So that is Grower's Farm. Again, you can find that over at the MJ Modding Facebook community page. Uh, there will be a link to that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this map video. Uh, there will be... I'm not really sure. 
I can't really say if there will or will not be any additional uh, map videos for 17. Uh, at recording this, we are officially three weeks away from Farm Sim 19's release. Um, I am not really actively looking for maps at this point. Uh, if maps kind of stumble upon me, then I'll look at them and, and consider them for a video. But really at this point, I'm kind of looking forward to 19 maps. I figure with close, well over 150 maps in the playlist, if you're still looking to play 17, there's plenty of maps that have already been um, profiled in the playlist that you can explore. So until next time, guys, happy farming.